In this video, we're going to take a look at how to create a select list uh, that, when changed, will display an image as represented by a URL in a table. Uh, this is our table here. We've got to simply put a unique identifier, ID, a player name, and then a link out uh, to a image of the player. To get started and do this, we're going to first grab the select list and drop it into our region body. Call this P1 player. We're going to make it a query. Go ahead and paste in the query. Hit save. And we'll run it. And you can see here, uh, the query returned just a number concatenated with uh, the name of the player. And the response uh, on select will, will be the URL. Now we can go back here and we can simply add uh, an image underneath. We will call this P1 card. We're going to set it to be based on a URL stored in a page item. Down here for the source, we're going to put it to be a static value. And we're going to go out. There's actually a way to get a one by one transparent PNG pixel. So we're going to go ahead and grab what that source would be right here. So will simply uh, keep it from airing out um, the first time it comes up. We can hit save. Uh, the other thing I'm going to do here is in the uh, advanced, I'm going to enter a little CSS. This is simply a method that I put in on the page level to, to limit the size of the player image to 250 pixel uh, width. And last but not least, we're going to set this to put the... Uh, the label uh, floating in above. All right, so let's go ahead out here. We'll rerun it. All right, here we can see this is our blank pixel showing the player card. We still have our player drop down. Uh, so the last thing we want to do is get it to fire. So now we can go into P1 player. We'll create a new dynamic action. And we'll just call it show card. We're going to make sure this is set to fire when changing. Uh, on event change, so when the select list changes. Over here, we're going to flip this uh, to execute some JavaScript code. Now let's go ahead and paste this in. Simply put, this code is going to create a JavaScript variable uh, that's going to get the, the value of the, the pers person selected uh, from the select list, and that value will actually be the URL. Uh, if you want to see it, you can actually look at the console. And then in other videos we've taken, we've actually set values using the Apex, you know, uh, set value uh, API. But in this particular case, I'll simply write the URL uh, in between the start and stop of the image uh, tag itself. Instead, we need to update the source. So we're going to use some pure J uh, jQuery here uh, to modify the source for the card. Go ahead and hit save. Now if we go back to our page and refresh, and I select a card, we can see the player will appear and change. So that's a quick look at a dynamically change an image uh, based on a select list without pressing submit.